or deduction on Schedule A. Property taxes, though, what's the documentation that we're going to get with relation to property taxes? Now, if it's not being paid through your mortgage company, which it may not, you might just be paying your own property taxes, then you're not going to, you might not get any documentation because the prop, the people that the state and the locale doesn't have a responsibility typically to, to inform the IRS and you of the property taxes with like a 1099 or 1098 or something like that. Therefore, you're just going to have to keep the bills and make sure that you are properly recording the property taxes typically in the year that you paid them mainly on a cash based system although you have to be careful if you try to come up with a scheme of prepaying your property taxes right because the irs will limit that kind of thing typically typically so but sometimes your when you pay your financial institution they're going to say hey look we'll make it easy on you we'll just include the property taxes in the amount that you pay us so when you pay your mortgage company you're going to be paying them the the principal and interest on the loan as well as an amount that will be evenly allocated monthly so it might be easier to budget that would be their argument on why you might do that and then they will take that money and pay it to the to the the, the state and locale to pay your property taxes in essence for you so if that's the case you will probably get the form from your financial institution telling you the amount of interest you paid in the year which could be deductible on schedule a as interest and the property taxes will be reported basically separately what you don't get a deduction for is of course the principal the pay down of the loan itself it's only the interest and the property taxes okay so if you sold your home in 2023 any real estate uh, tax charged to the buyer should be shown on your settlement statement and in box six of any form uh, 1099s you received this amount is considered a refund of real estate taxes see refunds and rebates later so any real estate taxes you paid at closing should be shown on your settlement statement so things get messy when there's a purchase and a sale of the real estate so in the year of purchase or the year of sale then uh, as part of the agreement when there's a sale of real estate that takes place there could be property tax that's outstanding at that point in time and part of the agreement could be well who's going to be in charge of paying the property tax is it the person selling or is it the person purchasing and that kind those kind of details will typically be in the closing statement of the real estate transaction and you might have to go to the closing statement to make sure that you're properly allocating and picking up the the property taxes and who's basically paying you know for the property taxes once the sale has been made 